and we're back with another tutorial and today we are working with this image right here so we've got those really nice orange and teal tones those blues go to a bit more of a teal and those skin tones get a bit of a redness to them so i'll be putting his links down in the description guys so go down there give him a follow show him some support let him know you found him through these tutorials and yeah let's get into lightroom see if we can create something really nice like this and get these colors to really complement each other and yeah let's get into lightroom here's the raw unedited one and the edited one from his instagram so if we come down first things first let's enable profile corrections remove chromatic aberration okay so broaden it a bit And let's up the contrast. Okay, so we're looking really yellow all over. So let's drop the temperature by about a thousand. So now the skin tone looks a little more normal. So that's what we're doing with the white balance there. Because the, the lights... And the previous one had thrown off the white balance. She looks way too yellow. So that's that's white balanced now. Let's up the shadows. So you want to look at very, very small details. So uh, let's up the shadows because we want to be able to see... Um, little bits of detail in there let's drop highlights whites there okay so it's kind of flattened out let's do a quick s curve just a normal s curve so i have left a bit of room for contrast in the s curve so i haven't say left the shadows down here bring the blacks down I haven't tried to make it look exactly the same yet because I know I want to do an S curve in the RGB. So just living, giving myself a bit of room so I don't have too much contrast up after the curve. Okay, where was I? Just up the whites again. Touch. Okay, um, might have to come back and tweak a few of those. Let's do the S curve. Okay, so that's the S curve. Just a real simple uh, drop in the shadows, upping the highlights, and that just gives a nice amount of contrast into the image. And it's slightly different contrast than adding contrast up here. So let's come down. Let's work with some colors now. So we're a bit too saturated. So I'm going to drop just a few of these. Just real roughly. Get rid of these blues. Um, skin tones can stay up a bit. Let's Okay Okay, so just a rough job there because we want to do some coloring with uh, The calibration so we're after a real orange and teal look and this bar here gives us that very quickly so if we slide this across quite a wee way and let's bring down the saturation of that of those tones and now we get a we get an orange and teal look but it's a bit too many purples in there so I'm gonna work with this one here and it's gonna put more of an orange into those tones And then 
I'm just going to add a bit of green into the shadows there. And then I'm going to fine tune all of that in the HSL sliders. So we're kind of close and then we can get it much closer with these here. And just before I do that, I'm going to add um, a vignette into the image. So just dropping it quite a wee way down. Okay. All right, so we're pretty dark now. Let's come back up here, maybe tweak some things. Um, bring up the highlights. Just a bit. Shadows all the way up. Okay, back down to HSL. And let's just match up and fine tune a lot of these. So, skin tones, we'll start off with them. Uh, we're looking too orange, so we want to shift the reds towards more of a purple or a finer red. Let's go that way. And then the oranges will go that direction as well to more of a red. Yellows. Not too many yellows in here, but there's a little bit in the background there. We'll shift them towards uh, warmer yellow greens the style you always want warm greens so aquas and blue so it can be quite tricky because they both can look like they affect the same area but you can see we've got like a little bit of a greeny blue we've got quite a deep uh blue blue at the moment so I'm going to make it a little more green, especially with the aquas. So the aquas are affecting kind of the brighter blues and then the blues are affecting a bit more of the deeper shades. So I'm going to move the not so deeper shades to more of a green. And then these blues touch that way as well not many purples or magentas uh, saturation let's play around with this a bit more drop them down a touch These yellows are completely gone. Uh, not many greens. Blues. Aquas down. Now luminance. Let's broaden up her skin a bit. You can see it's a bit, bit warmer in the brighter areas. Just a touch. And now the blues again, I want slightly deeper aquas. So looking at areas like this, slightly deepen them. And I think everything else looks pretty good. Uh, where's sharpening will bring down looks a little too sharp and we don't need any grain because it was already a bit of grain in this image it's such a dark image and yeah I think that's good guys if I was editing this image myself I'd maybe desaturate the oranges just a bit more and then maybe if it was my image I'd maybe keep a bit more of a blue so the style looks quite a bit like Sam Calder I've actually got 
a preset here that I do offer you guys in my preset pack that should work pretty well on this image. So brighten it up, bring down the temperature. And you can see if we worked around with this a bit more, we would get some really nice tones. But yeah, um, yeah, that's a preset that I offer you guys. But if we just go back to what we had. So yeah, I think we got the edit perfect, guys. Um, really awesome photos. Go check them out down in the description. There's links to be down there. And then comment who you guys want to see down in the description because that way I can go reach out them, reach out to them, ask them to send in a photo and do a tutorial on them. So comment people with great images but not too many followers and then that way they'll be willing to send in, send in an image for a tutorial. So check out the presets guys, really liking the feedback on those and how they're really helping you guys learn and, and figure out how to do it yourself. And yeah, if you guys uh, interested in video and LUTs and color grading check the links down in the description I uh, there's a link to quite a few tutorials on that and thanks again for watching guys leave a comment leave a like catch you in the next one cheers